Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Jordan Samuel Skin Talks. Today's pro Friday pro facial tip pro 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 facial tip Friday. I'll figure that out. Um, is I feel like I've done, I feel like all of my facial tips are basically the same thing, just disguised and talking about something else, which I love. I'm just driving my point home. Uh, is you we all read about certain ingredients, retinols, cleansers, oil cleansers, non-foaming cleansers, foaming cleansers, soaps, not so you get the picture. Um, just because you hear about something as the gold standard or something that like really should be, and I'm gonna use retinol as an example. Um, but there's another large skincare company in, well, I just called myself a large skincare company. Not yet, soon to be. Um, there is a large skincare company in Seattle, uh, very famous and well known, and the owner has a few different retinols in her line, and she can't use any of them. And so it goes to show that, like, again, everybody's skin is slightly different. And there's, you know, whether it's a low percentage or high percentage of retinol, or it's in an oil or not oil, or scented or not scented, essential oils, not essential oils, you get the picture. Some people's skin just cannot tolerate. And I have come across those individuals where I, earlier on in my career, thought like, no, like you're just doing it wrong. Like you have the wrong percentage. You have, um, and I'm picking, I don't want this to be about retinol. This is just the one example I have. This can also be acids. My skin doesn't really love acids. I've tried, it doesn't really love them. Um, I sort of found a sweet spot for myself, but um, same thing with vitamin C, same thing with, you know, oil, same thing with oil cleansers, same thing with milk cleansers, same, so you get the point. It just happens to be retinol right now. Um, and anyway, one of my clients came in and I was like, no, we just need to get you on a, a gentle, lower percentage retinol and a nourishing formula. Couldn't do it. And this was after we'd gotten them off of it for like months and months and months and then like wanted to reintroduce this jump and couldn't do it. So some people just can't do it. Again, there's other things going on that we just can't possibly see with the naked eye. So don't feel the need and don't feel upset or frustrated and don't try to keep grasping or buying new products and, and wasting money on something that maybe just isn't meant for you. Um, and again, that can be anything. It can be any ingredient. And so using this business owner as an example of she has X amount of retinols in her line, she can't use any of them, I think is very telling to, and even in my line, I don't use every single product. You know, it's you're creating a line for, and also know that with all these lines, a new product from a line that you love might just not be for your skin condition, skin type, age range, etc. So that's a separate thing again, but don't go chasing that. But just because something's seen as a gold standard, maybe like for your life and your what's going on right now, you just can't use it. Um, don't feel bad, there's many other, you know, just because you can't use a retinol, you can be on acids and an SPF and a cleanser, or maybe you can't use acids. So great, you use a muslin cloth or a light scrub and that's that's what how your skin does nice exfoliation. Um, but that is my tip for the day. Uh, I feel like my next week's one will probably be similar again. But you know what, cheers to that. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great January. You're either staying warm or staying cool, depending on where you are. And I will see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.